The Ford Maverick's first mainstream full hybrid pickup is on its way. Ford's new pickup is not just the first mainstream hybrid pickup in the United States. The company's dedication to electrifying its entire product line is shown in the decision to make the hybrid powertrain standard. How many of you are excited? Well, the best never rest. As it turns out, the release of a Maverick EV and a Maverick plug-in hybrid portends a more significant degree of electrification. Here at Tech Addicts, let's discuss all the details. Recent trademark applications by Ford indicate the company is considering developing a Lightning-branded lineup of electric pickups. The European Union Intellectual Property Office received trademark applications for the names Maverick Lightning and Ranger Lightning from the corporation on July 11, 2022. Ford has made no official announcements on the Lightning name being used on any other vehicles except the F-150. Still, there are signs that the firm will soon release electric versions of the Maverick and Ranger. The Ford Maverick concept has the potential to evolve into an entire lineup of reasonably priced vehicles. In an interview with Automotive News, Farley Jr. explained the company's plan to increase its product offering by introducing related models under the same brand name. He reaffirmed Maverick's expansion from a single model into a new franchise, saying that Ford's icons deserve such treatment. Partial electrification with current hybrid technology is likely the most practical option for the Maverick. However, when battery prices drop in a few years, there may be a commercial justification for a pure electric version due to the enormous quantities delivered. Remember that Hyundai, a key competitor, now has the hardware to launch an electric Santa Cruz on the new platform. According to Ford's Vice President of Model E Industrialization, Lisa Drake, the company's on target to have electricity costs of less than $100 per kilowatt hour by 2025, as she stated during the 2021 Capital Markets Day event. In addition, we have a goal of achieving an $80 per kilowatt hour target well before the end of the decade by utilizing technological, manufacturing, and value chain improvements, Drake said. If history indicates the plug-in hybrid version of the Ford Maverick will hit stores before the all-electric model. The spy photos show what appears to be a plug-in hybrid version of the Maverick. The rumored Maverick plug-in hybrid prototype has a 2.1-liter gas engine under the hood, as indicated by the letters PHEV and 2.1L on a junction box attached to the left side rear door. Additional packaging copies suggest a base weight of 1,790 rather than 1,684, and these are weights in kilos, in which case the prototype is heavier than 3,713 pounds. The Maverick weighs in at 3,563 pounds with the gasoline front-wheel drive, 3,731 pounds on the gasoline all-wheel drive version, and 3,674 for the diesel version. The bigger battery pack in the plug-in hybrid version will be heavier overall. So let's discuss in detail the Ford Maverick. The Maverick may be smaller than the typical Ford pickup, but it certainly looks the part. However, unlike the Ford Escape, this one has a unibody construction riding on the C2 platform. You'll find a 2.5 liter hybrid power plant mated in the engine compartment to a continuously variable transmission that generates 191 horsepower and 155 pound-feet of torque. The hybrid drivetrain doesn't support an all-wheel drive system. The electric motor is powered by a lithium-ion battery pack located under the car's rear seats and kept cool by liquid. A measure of fuel efficiency. The Ford Maverick Hybrid is an excellent option for city dwellers who don't need all-wheel drive or other traditional off-roading features of a truck due to its impressive fuel economy of 42 miles per gallon in city. The combined fuel economy for this hybrid pickup truck is 37 mpg and it gets 33 on the interstate. It has a range of more than 500 miles on a single gas tank, and the EPA has estimated these values for all the metrics. There is enough room for a regular ATV and the Ford Maverick Hybrid's standard payload capacity of 1,500 pounds. Hauling capacities of up to 2,000 pounds come as standard, making it suitable for towing everything from a pop-up tent trailer to a pair of PWC. As an alternative, a 2.0-liter EcoBoost gas engine with 250 horsepower and 277 pound-feet of torque 
is available to buyers paired with an 8-speed automatic transmission as standard equipment. The standard Maverick now comes with an all-wheel drive system as an available upgrade. The non-hybrid model's towing capacity can be increased to 4,000 pounds with the addition of the optional 4K tow package. Once this option is selected, towing a standard 21-foot boat becomes a breeze. In front-wheel drive mode, the gasoline Maverick achieves 23 miles per gallon city, 30 highway, and 26 combined fuel economy. While in all-wheel drive mode, it achieves 22 miles per gallon city, 29 highway, and 25 MPG combined fuel economy. When driving a Ford Maverick Hybrid all-wheel drive, according to a report from Motor Trend, the Blue Oval can unveil a Ford Maverick Hybrid all-wheel drive. Nonetheless, the business won't commit until it learns of their significant interest in such a premium package. Customers interested in a more rugged Maverick experience will have to wait till the standard gasoline engine is available for customization. The gas-powered Maverick offers an FX4 package that is only available with all-wheel drive. Features such as hill descent control, off-road oriented drive modes like mud and rut and sand, and beefy all-terrain tires and suspension tuning are all a part of this package. According to analysis from Motor Trend, the traction motor in the Maverick Hybrid is brand new and not shared with the Escape Hybrid. The new motor has been designed and is produced entirely within Ford's borders. It's a performance-oriented version of the motor found in Tesla's Model X, a permanent magnet reluctance motor. Magnets for the rotor are molded into place in their double V slots rather than placed there afterward, and the slots are double the size of those for single V slots. The Maverick doesn't take advantage of the molded-in magnet's potential to operate at a far greater rotational speed just yet. The stator's hairpin and twist on its square wires make them better heat conductors and hence make for more effective cooling than the conventional round wire windings it used to have. The most notable feature of Maverick is Flexbed. It's versatile enough to be used for a variety of purposes including the construction of elevated flooring, bike and kayak racks, and compartmented storage. The buyer can easily assemble the bed by sliding 2x4s or 2x6s into slots on either side. Customers with a creative bent can use the two tie-downs, 4D rings, and built-in threaded holes in the sidewalls to come up with their own solutions. Two 100-volt, 400-watt outlets are also provided in addition to the do-it-yourself power supply. The bed serves as one node, while the cabin itself serves as the other. In addition, the bed has a built-in shelf for extra storage space. Notable standard equipment on the Maverick includes LED headlights, 18-inch alloy wheels, an 8-inch touchscreen with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto compatibility, Ford Pass Connect with Wi-Fi access, and wireless charging. The Ford Maverick Hybrid Specs, Pricing, and Availability the MSRP for the Ford Maverick 2023 ranges from $22,195 to $29,955. The MSRP of a 2023 Ford Maverick includes a destination charge from the manufacturer in the amount of $1,495. Maverick Truck Club announced the start of 2023 Maverick production on October 23, 2022, with the end of production of the previous model occurring on November 23, 2022. Maverick Truck Club announced on October 31st that Ford would convert 2022 Maverick orders into 2023 models. Ford is providing clients who have converted their orders a discount of $2,750 for hybrid or $1,750 for gas to help them cope with the higher cost of the new model. The mild hybrid system in a Ford. How does it work? Mild hybrids can be found in a variety of forms, the most common of which are a tiny battery pack designed to complement the standard 12-volt battery used in all internal combustion engine vehicles. In many cases, this is a 48-volt system with a combined starter generator that does double duty as an engine starting and auxiliary power source. As a result, the engine is relieved of some of the workloads at times, like pulling away, resulting in improved fuel economy and reduced operating expenses. Acceleration has a minor advantage as well. When coasting, the engine can shut off automatically in some mild hybrid electric vehicles. When you're ready to go or press the accelerator again, MHEV technology will automatically restart the engine. The lack of an electric-only mode is essential to understanding moderate hybrids. A complete hybrid or plug-in hybrid is required for this task. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to like it and make sure you subscribe to our channel.